Okay, so we're out in the field. Um, wind's about five miles an hour, which is a, probably about 90, sorry, nine or 10 kilometers an hour. Um, overcast, but quite calm. Um, so we've got the uh, AR Pro, so uh, got the bolts relevons on, got the two different forms of uh, laminate. We've got the uh, Ripmax on this side, the Aura cover on this side. Uh, we've got the Z hinges on this side, and we've got the CA hinges on this side. Um, I think Jim Moore commented that uh, CA hinges are the way to go. I'm inclined to agree with him actually, um, because uh, they do look a lot better and a lot stronger. English Turbines did mention to me in a comment that you can actually create um, a much better effect by using the actual laminate itself to attach the elevon, something I need to look into, but uh, certainly consideration for the proper build. Yeah, so I've got the, uh, the, uh, the new control horns on there, rock solid, unlike the original AR Pro, the stock one, there's absolutely no movement whatsoever where the, uh, on the original one, the, uh, the, horns, the horns can actually start to come loose and roll, which can cause a lot of problems. So looking forward to seeing how it flies. So let's get the thing in the air and, uh, and see how it performs compared to the original. And then we can learn from this and uh, then start the build proper. Okay, let's launch. Okay, we're in the air. Let's go set the self leveling. Attitude mode. All right, let's auto level it. Get too near those power lines. Bring that back, do that again. Into angle mode. Angle mode, attitude mode. Okay, that's pretty good. Acro mode. All right, let's just do an auto tune. Not sure if it's going to change very much just because I've changed the elevons, but we'll see. Auto tune mode. Well, the uh, rolls are pretty good considering I had to ex extend the throws on the servos. In fact, it feels snappier than before. Maybe that's because there's less flex. I'm not sure. That feels snappy. and levels nicely. Well, if that's an indication of how this thing is going to fly, then I'm pretty excited. This is some bank turns. Wow, it feels great. Inverted. Oh, it feels real nice. Wow. Well, let's push it, push it a bit faster and get some speed. Feels good. All right, let's get some altitude and do a dive and see how it pulls out the dive with these 
I love ons. Oh, a bit of vibration there. I wonder what that was all about. Let's try that again. Maybe that's because I didn't put them on absolutely precisely because they were old wings. Yeah, when we get when we're diving at speed, we're getting some wobble. We need to figure out what that's all about. So that session was cut short because uh, shortly after we did those tests, um, we had a crash. Oh, we have lost power. So we have to glide it in. Oh. Oh, we crashed. We lost power. We actually had a problem with the, um, with the actual motor. This is probably why it wasn't launching really well and didn't seem to have very much power. This, uh, this sunny sky motor, it's actually burnt out. If you can see the picture of the close-up now, you can see what I mean. It's uh, completely destroyed. So yeah, so I lost power in the air, tried to turn to, to land and uh, obviously the plane went into a stall. It's quite a heavy plane and it spiraled into the ground. Amazingly, as you can see, the plane is still in one piece. And when I crash, usually they're not in one piece. So a um, bit of a testimony really to you know, the, the lamination and the way I put it together that, you know, it, 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 apart from that one small little tear in the lamination, it actually held together remarkably well. It was quite a hard crash. Um, yeah, so uh, that, that stopped things uh, pretty early. So came back and uh, had a chat with Mark about this wobble and he explained to me what was the problem um, and uh, it turned out to be right. So when we were in Germany with the, uh, the standard foam elevons, we, um, Mark obviously helped me to tune the plane you know, quite highly so that it was, uh, you know, we're getting the maximum really out of, of, out of the plane as it was. Um, those pids were too high because of the lack of deflection and the, you know, the greater level of authority um, on the new uh, elevons uh, were causing those oscillations. So um, I'm showing on the screen now the pids as they were before from the, from the Germany tune and uh, what I've toned them down to um, for the next clip where we can see that we've actually you know, really drastically improved uh, the situation. Still needs a bit more tuning yet, but I'm not going to bother on this plane because I've already started building, uh, obviously, its successor. Um, but yeah, um, really interesting. And for me, um, it's probably the first time in, 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 since I've got involved in flying wings that I've actually really appreciated just actually how much uh, additional input a flight controller has and how the autopilot really does change the characteristics of the plane. Um, I have been flying more and more and more in manual mode recently and really enjoying it, but I still like that support cushion of the uh, autopilot. And I, you know, I'm so used to flying in acro now that manual feels a little bit different, but yeah, I'm gonna persevere with that. So yeah, let's go back out to the field and do a test with the new PIDs uh, and we can see how that goes. Oh, incidentally, the reason why this motor burnt out um, is because um, Mark suggested this motor with uh, an eight by, I'm gonna blame Mark. Yeah, why not blame Mark for burning out my motor? He crashed into me, he destroyed my other AR wing. So yeah, yeah, it's his fault that I crashed this plane. Um, he told me that a good combination would be this Sunny Sky Mark III 1400 KV with an eight by six prop APC. So I ordered the APC eight by six prop, but there are two different variants of the APC 8x6, as you can see on the screen now. I had the one with the much thicker blades, and um, I said to Mark before um, that this motor was getting really hot, um, and it was because I used the wrong APC 8x6, so another lesson learned. So I've ordered some of the 8x6s, which are the thinner variant, and uh, then I should be okay. Uh, I have put the new, obviously a new motor on exactly the same spec as this one. Yeah, so let's go back out uh, and see how we performed with the new PIDs. All right, let's get some altitude, do a dive. In Acro. Wow, yeah, that's, that secured it. Minute bit of oscillation, you'd get that anyway, I think, even in manual mode. Let's, let's still dive in manual mode. Oh, 
manual mode. Not much difference. Delighted with that. Acro mode. Yeah, the rolls are much snappier. It just feels so much more locked in in the air and it's quite windy. You get a bit of chop when you open the wings up to the, the wind. Oh, I'm loving it. Even in windy conditions. Mm, the church bells are ringing. We'll fly to another church. Let's get some altitude, do a last dive before we... Let's, get, let's go a little bit higher. Sod it. Pulls out that nicely and that was fast. Okay, let's bring it into land. Super happy. Solved a few problems, learnt a lot on this experiment so far. Bring it into land before the rain starts. Okay, to sum up, well, um, that footage, that, those clips of me flying with the uh, footage stabilised um, kind of says it all for me. That was really windy, really choppy conditions, and if I can get that kind of quality, you know, uh, stabilisation with real steady go in those conditions, flying in moderate or light winds, going to get some really fantastic videos, and if we get to some really nice places with some nice scenery, then we can do something really, you know, really nice, hopefully. So yeah, conclusion then, um, AR Pro, new elevons, lamination, new control horns, um, noticeable difference in its flight characteristics. Um, and I think that the fact that the, um, the, the, the PIDs required such a reduction uh, because of the problems of the extra authority actually indicates and supports the fact that there is some noticeable changes, even the flight controller and the, and the settings noticed. Um, so yeah, um, it, it's really good to see. It just feels more locked in. Even in the wind, I could tell that it had more, had more authority and more kind of confidence on the turns. And definitely on those dives, uh, a couple of those fast dives, and I did loads more. I'm obviously just put the you know, short amount on video. Um, did loads of dives. Uh, pulling out of those dives just felt so much better. I felt so much more confident in being able to get closer to the ground on those dives than I, I would have done in the past with the old elevons. So yeah, really, really pleased, pleased with everything that I've learned. I think I'll probably go for the CA hinge unless the, uh, this laminate, um, laminating the hinges on uh, looks better when I investigate that. Um, and uh, I'm going to stay with those control horns because they worked really well and they were absolutely rock solid. So yeah, so moving on to building um, 
first of two, so I've got this white e sheen. I've just started doing the 3D prints, you know, the GoPro nose and the motor mount and various other bits and pieces. I've also got a black one, um, so I'm going to build two because I'm hoping to go to Spain in a not too distant future before Christmas and do some flying in Spain in warm weather. Um, and I want to make sure I've got a couple of planes with me in case we have uh, any mishaps or little crashes. Um, but as Mark's probably not going to be there, I'll probably be all right. So, um, yeah. First thing I'm going to do is just basically chop off the elevons. I'm going to do a video of exactly how I make the bolts or elevons, what material I use and the technique that I use to make them. Um, then obviously sand these wings down and, uh, and laminate them. Uh, so I've got quite a bit of building work ahead. Um, the weather's starting to turn here in the UK, so there's not much flying opportunity. Uh, I'll be out when I can with the spare one. Um, but yeah, that, that's it for now. Um, I'm delighted with what I've learned so far. I'm really excited to get into building these and refining it and making it even better. So uh, yeah, I'll try and share as much as I can and thank you so much for the comments and suggestions. It really helps and helps to breed new ideas. So yeah, that's it for this one. Um, I'll, I'll see you on the next one.